Hi, I'm Dr. Gayatri BN, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Milan Hospital and Birthing Center. Today, I'm here to discuss about importance of physical activity in pregnancy. There is a popular myth going around that physical exercise can cause abortion or premature labor pains in pregnancy. I'm here today to uh, give enough evidence that exercise is important in pregnancy and not harmful. We'll go system by system and discuss what all uh, help it will cause, what all the advantages ha of having exercise. Coming to cardiovascular system, it includes heart and the circulation. In pregnancy, about 50% of your blood volume increases. So there is an extra load on heart to pump this extra blood. By doing exercise, there is a gradual training happening to the heart. So it will cope up with this extra load. Coming to respiratory system, which includes lungs and diaphragm, there is constant pressure on the diaphragm and the diaphragm is pushed up because of the expanding uterus. So the lung capacity decreases in pregnancy. By doing exercise, the lung also expands and there is increase in the lung capacity. So breathlessness decreases if you are doing regular exercise in pregnancy. Coming to skeletal system. What is skeletal system? It is a set of bones, joints and muscles. There is a production of relaxing hormone in pregnancy. What this hormone does? It actually relaxes all the joints in your body, especially the pelvic joints. We need the pelvic uh, joint relaxation so that the head engages into the pelvis and normal delivery happens successfully. One of the drawbacks of this relaxing hormone is that it relaxes all the joints in the body, especially the intervertebral joints in the spine. So lady will complain of back pain. The back pain is also caused by the shifting of center of gravity anteriorly because of the increasing tummy anteriorly. So there is an extra load on back muscles. By doing the back exercises, we are actually strengthening the back muscles. So this will reduce back pain. Coming to intestines, there is decreased bowel movements happening during pregnancy. This can cause constipation. By increasing the fiber food, and doing exercise will relieve the symptom of constipation. Not only physical body, pregnant lady also undergoes lot of changes in her mental health. There will be lot of anxiety, apprehension and she also may face depression. She may be crying without any reason. All this happens because of the hormonal changes undergoing in her. By doing exercise, there will be release of endorphin hormones in brain. This endorphin hormones actually causes feeling of happiness. So this happiness feeling will cause coping up of the emotional trauma or suffering which she is undergoing. So here I would like to emphasize that exercise not only helps for her physical body, also for her mental health. Coming to baby now, it's very well proven that increase in the sugar level in the mother's body will have direct effect on the baby's sugar level in future. The development of behavioral changes, mental health of the baby in future and also obesity in future. All this all related to the, the baby's condition when baby is inside her mother's womb. So programming of the baby happens in pregnancy itself. By doing exercise, mother is actually helping this programming so that her baby is very healthy in future. Coming to delivery, mode of delivery. Exercise will help and definitely, definitely proven that the yoga and some kind of exercises help in undergoing normal delivery. Now we are convinced that exercise is important in pregnancy. Now we will see how to start about. It's advised that any exercise we have to start gradually. Better will it will be good to wear a comfortable loose cotton dress, select a vent, well ventilated room. It's always better to have water bottle with you and also it's not good to have, do exercise when you are fasting for long hours. Sudden decrease in sugar level can cause dizziness and affect the pregnancy. 
when we are starting the exercise it's always best to start with basic and safe mode of exercise i would recommend walking is the best mode of exercise you can start with 10 minutes of a walking every day then gradually increasing it up to 30 minutes per day and if you are able to do it we can increase it to 45 minutes or up to 1 hour first when we start any exercise little amount of breathlessness may happen by taking 5 minutes rest and restarting the exercise will build up the stamina and the exercise capacity increases gradually here i would also like to tell you about some warning signs where you have to go and meet your doctor immediately one of the warning sign is that any uh, bleeding any amount of small amount of bleeding also is not good immediately you have to consult your doctor your doctor may ask you to do ultrasound scanning and confirm that everything is going fine water leak that is amniotic water leak can happen sometimes immediately you have to meet your doctor suddenly feeling of breathlessness or feeling dizziness sudden increase in the swelling in legs hands and face these are also warning signs where you have to meet your doctor and the uh, what i am saying is these signs will not happen if you are uh, doing exercise here i want to tell you that these signs will not happen if you are doing exercise i want to confirm here that these signs will not happen if you do exercise i am just giving information that if these signs are happening you should meet your doctor immediately there are only few conditions where we tell the uh, pregnant lady not to exercise like uh, severe heart condition in pregnancy the cervical incompetence or placenta previa where placenta is situated very low these are only few conditions where exercise is not allowed but most of the pregnant ladies come into the category where exercise is safe for them so go ahead and do exercise all my pregnant ladies thank you today i want to conclude my talk again by saying that pregnancy is a reason but not a excuse for exercise thank you